All right, so welcome back to the little coding. So in today's video, we're going to solve the window is undefined uh, when using Next.js. So usually Next.js using the SSO, so it's server side rendering. So for the client side uh, rendering, uh, let's say the window right here is belong to the client side. So this sometimes happen when we try to use window uh, in the SSO mode, or when we try to use this one, um, or the library that we are using, uh, using this window, it's just cost undefined. So in today's video, we're going to solve this uh, problem. So let's see how to do that. So go back into my VS code right here. It's just a really simple uh, Next.js boilerplate. And I have uh, this one, my code right here. So as you can see, it's just, I just using the editor, editor.js. And so as you can see right here, uh, so what it does, it try to edit uh, right here, try to mount to the uh, div, uh, div right here with the ID of editor. So um, when this happens, so it means that the editor.js right here try to find the uh, the element in our document that have this ID. So but we since we don't have any window, so this one is cause an error. So to solve this problems, I think the the best way that we should do is to uh, we should not do this one on the page. So as you can see, we have the React uh, of our next page. So what we could do, we could move this one outside. So for now, I'm going to erase everything right here. So we can return. So and then we, we should we shouldn't we should move this code and then we put the div right here. All right, I'm going to remove this one as well. So we can create a component for it. So I have create components already called editor.js. And for inside here, we're gonna do the same things that we have done from that. So like what you uh, done in this page right here, that is not correct. And you move it to the component. So this is a similar thing, which is enable our editor.js. And then so to use this one, you can just import the editor. For now, I'm gonna just do just like uh, editor right here. But this one is gonna be cause a problem as well. But to solve this one, we need to do Instead, we're going to do uh, dynamic import is const. Editor is going to be equal to, I think first we need to import dynamic first. Dynamics from next slash dynamics. And then you can do dynamics. It's going to be an arrow function. So as you can see right here, it's going to be import. So you can import the components that you want. So we can go to a component editor and then Plus, we, because this component, we sure that, okay, this one is not going to be in the SSR mode. So we can have an options that we have the SSR to false. Okay. So right now, everything should be fine. If we go back in here, if I try to refresh this one, so everything is fine. So you cannot, be, uh, as you can see right here, if we go to the console.log, um, oops, sorry. So if we go back into the console.log, it's show that editor is being, uh, let's say, ready to pass. So there we go. So we can strike uh, this down right here. Okay. So I think um, that pretty much it for this one. If you hopefully this video is going to help you for who, uh, whoever that run into these problems. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I think probably in the next video, I'm going to do the video uh, on the editor.js. So it's a really cool, nice editor that we're going to might maybe be doing the blog post related to this stuff. So let me know in the comment if you want to see this content. All right. So hope you like this one. Uh, comment down below. Um, all right. So see you guys in the next video.